stone. The home in a stone. Harry Potter. Oh. Hello? Right. I keep having these flashes in my head. Right. Of the Dark Lord. Oh, okay. Unexpected turn. I'm just wondering, can you meet me at platform nine and three quarters? Yes, yeah. And then we can talk through it all on the train to Hogwarts. Over here. Okay, fab. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Hey, Ron. All right? Thanks for meeting me. Um, should we just go through and then I'll tell you about it on the train? Yeah. Cool. Now, Harry, Ron, there is a reason I've called you in to see me today. I'm sorry to say that you've not done a very good job in keeping my favourite house at Dr Hogwarts School for Boys up to scratch over the last year. That's why I'm going to have to put you in peril to save the school. No change there, then. I need you to find the Holmaner's Stone. What's that? Just Google it. I'm counting on you two to find out what it will take to undertake this dangerous quest. It will be scary, but it will be top banter. Here, Ron, look. The Holmaner's Stone. The Holmaner's Stone is a legendary substance allegedly capable of turning house captains into even better ones. It was sometimes believed to be an elixir of life, useful for rejuvenation slash regeneration, and possibly for achieving immortality. Ooh. Some side effects, please see below. Oh, I'll tell you truth that. If this stone were to fall into the hands of anyone other than the current Holman House captains, the state of the entire Holman House at Dr. Hogwarts School for Boys is in danger of becoming diseased with spirits of other impure houses, such as Foxel, Newman, Thorn, Rainer! Or worst of all, Pearson. Oh dear. Oh, that's the most impure house of all of them. It was last known to be in the possession of a Mr. Nicholas Flamel, who after his death at the age of 784, <whistles> donated it to an anonymous close friend. For the last two years, its location is unknown. Okay, Hagrid. What do you know about the Holmaner's Stone? Oh, the Holmaner's Stone. You've got to undertake four challenges. They'll be daring, they'll be challenging. And of course it's in the music story. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Pick a glass jar. Choose the safe one to drink. If you choose the safe one, you will pass. If you choose the unsafe one, you will die. This one? That, that one? I mean, I mean <laughs> like, it could be either. This is clearly a paint mix of water. So... That one? That one should go with that one. Yeah, you can drink it. Yeah? Yeah, go for it. Okay, cool. We passed that test then. What's nice. next? One, two, 
three, nine, uh, 22, uh, 29, 32, uh, 38, uh, 48, I can count, 49, 50. Okay, cool. Ron, I've done it. Who won House Dragon Slaying in 2008? House Dragon Slaying? I don't know. I didn't realise we had. Why didn't we do House Dragon Slaying? I clean up us because we're terrible. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Thorn. Ron! That was Holman! Holman! Holman of old! Who found the Holman? I feel secure in Holman. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Holman. Yes. Mr. Holman? Oh, nice. Who was the first Holman to win the award for academic excellence in potion making and charms? Not for Nala Jones. Who actually, you look a lot like Nala Jones. No, no, no. This guy, yeah. Are you sure? No, 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 not him, not him, no. Was Horatio Hogsmeade for your information? Final question. Why are we not winning this year? Right, well, I'd like to blame Ollie Oakley and Cameron. Ow! Ron! Over here! Oh my god! Ron! There it is! We found it! The Holman of Stone! Ron, you've got a lot bigger. What are you doing, mate?